Guys, guys. I've had an apostrophe. I think you mean an epiphany. Lightning has struck my brain. Most of the problems I've had with the servos is down to not being able to drive both at the same time with a sine wave. I need to get a nice circular path so I can drive one server with a sine wave. The other one I have to use that hand plotted line I showed you before and that's where all the noise and everything else the jerkiness is coming from. And that's all down to none of the crank arms are changing length. The crank arm on the Geneva gear has to be a set length. But what if it didn't? So, this is Azales TV, part 18 of the wooden clock build. You might want to check this out. Uh, this! You've all seen this. The biggest pain in the ass bit of paper I have in my possession. To recap, the red path is the path we want, nice circular path. We can't get that with two sine waves. What we actually get is this, which is nothing like the circle we want. In fact, I took the liberty of repeating a previous experiment, plotting both of the paths, and I get something that's pretty similar to what we have here. So I put the pen in place. I've drawn out the brown line there is what this blue line would be, what we get with two sine waves. And the pinky red line there is what we actually get with the hand plotted waves and the sine wave. Of course this blue line is no good to us because our crank arm spins round but won't move in and out so it can't trace this path where it's going all over the place. So we have this. And this goes around in a circle which is exactly what we want, but also this moves in and out. So that in the centre there will trace out that blue line as it goes up and down like that and around at the same time. So we can use the two sine waves, a sine wave for each servo to make it nice and smooth and as it goes around in a circle this traces out like that back and forth. So let's stick this in the clock and see how well that works. <laughs> So what even is this? Well it's two of these collars that I had for the original crank arm and I've soldered some brass tubes on the sides and on the sides of this one oh, on this one I've epoxied in some machined rod so that slots in place like that and just moves back and forth and that can rotate around but also move in and out to a degree I've made this which is a section of another machined rod with a little stop on it and when the crank arms go on there that goes over the top screws in place in there and that screws onto the Geneva gear crank um, the arbor and it's all locked in place so I don't need this anymore right let's install this thing Oh, this is exciting. Let's go. So the servos initialize in the place they need to be. So now, hopefully. Oh. So, that's working on the sine wave. That's working on the sine wave. You can probably see how this moves in and out as it goes around. I'll slow the code down so you can see it better. 
We are in nice and close and running at one quarter speed. Let's have a look here, look. Nice. Now it's still going to get the e as it goes around because it can't move from one place to another smoothly. It moves in tiny little steps. And it always has to move in tiny little steps. So the noise it makes is down to the servos, the way the signaling works inside the server itself. You've got to sort of um, fine tune the speed and everything else to get it to work and sound to smooth. But that's easy enough to do that now because they're both running in sine waves. So the actual movements, I mean, there's no where it gets to. Whereas at this point here, it doesn't like jerk around. It's a very slow and graceful movement, which is exactly what I want. Have a look at this there when it gets to this part. You can see it expand out. And that's the problem we was getting before. That's why that needed to kick around fast to take up the difference in radius there. So now it's running a lot smoother because this is able to expand in and out. That is spot on. Just for giggles, let's see how fast I can make it go. Oh boy. Right, this is a delay of one millisecond per step. If I take out the delay completely, it doesn't work. The code works so fast, it does a full cycle in, in the code itself in the microcontroller before the servos have a chance to move. Now it might be that the servos are just rejecting the signals because it's too fast. It's faster than the pulse width of the servos itself, so it's not doing anything. So this is one millisecond. Let's have a look. Oh boy. Yep. Well, that's interesting. It's not returned fully to home. Yeah, that's fast. But again, no jerking this here, it's still smooth. If I hold it down, it's loud. It's, of course, it's going to be loud, but it's, it's working smoothly. That's brilliant. One more thing I've done in the code. Who notices there's no ee noise continuously coming from the servos? They're not jittering on their own, making a noise like someone trying to stifle a laugh at a funeral. And what I've done is when the power is applied and the microcontroller initializes the servos turn on move to the home position and then they turn off again and when I detach the servos completely I can move them like this which is why I can move them like that but there's no longer any signal being sent to the servos so they're not continuously jittering and trying to hunt for a position when I do a full cycle it will turn the servos on start the cycle all the way around get to there and then turn the servos off again so again, there's no background noise of jittering, like continuously. So that's it for today. I mean, I think I'll call that a brilliant success. The servers run nice and smoothly. Really pleased with that. Next week, I'm going to be transplanting the program from the Arduino onto this chip. So if you want to see that, stick around. If you're not subscribed already, then click the subscribe button and hit that notification button so you know when I upload. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. So until next week, have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you very much for watching.